the presentation convinced me <clears throat> that indeed there will never be a lot shedding again. We've got to address this because ESCOM is a risk. Mm -hmm. We've got all our energy eggs in one basket. When uh, the generator of energy in our country reports that there are six units, it means that all six eggs are broken. Please must go. Chamnandas must go. Please leave. Jacob Zuma promised the nation that there will be no load shedding again in the country. What happened to that statement? Who sabotaged the plans? To go through winter without load shedding. Uh, we expect to go through the next summer without load shedding, and the next winter and the next summer. Uh, this is first degree of corruption. The president said he is shocked and angry. Uh, it, it has shocked me and has also made me quite angry. Who is he angry with exactly? Where is the public protection now? How can the president suspend the public protector? Who will protect the public then? Soon after the suspension the country suddenly went to stage 6 of load shedding. It was not long ago when stage 4 was introduced. Like we are losing a lot of business right now because you got a lot of damage. All of a sudden the stage is on six. The president said the government invested lots of money to Eskom company. Maybe that's why he is very angry. But you will never know what a politician is thinking. Recently he was found with lots of money. A so-called rare animal breeding company came from nowhere backing the story of the money. Those are engaged in abduction, kidnapping and bribery to cover up the fact that... If you are a concerned citizen you must know that the Matrace money was found. And Eskom just went from bad to worse. There is a very big doubt that the money funded Eskom according to the situation in the country. We are not being told the truth. Ramaphosa is the shareholder in the company that which supply Eskom with coal. It can also be the cause of why we are not using clean and renewable power resources. Ramaphosa is definitely benefiting from Eskom. Two years back the fixing needed our 500k. Now it needs our 3 million. Zuma 
Sharma said South Africa is at spotlight on the world. So why a country which is a celebrity suffer from corrupt leaders too? Tell us down below on the comments. If you like the video please press the like button. If you want to see more of these videos please press the subscribe button, and turn on the notification bell, so that you will be notified when we post another video like this one. We will be uploading the videos every week. So stay tuned. Check out the next video, goodbye.